Because like all we want as LGBTQ people is to watch a freaking Christmas movie and have there be no drama. We're the next Banksy. Hava, Nagila, Hava. <laughs> was that last night it was either really windy or it turned to hail at some point because all the snow from our fire escape is gone but it's still snowing now and as if you could see back there in like the yard area that is not ours there is still a good amount of snow back there but i think the wind or whatever kind of like blew a lot of it away gabby's still in bed so i'm gonna go show you what it looks like from the front so in the front it definitely looks a bit worse than yesterday the roads look pretty bad and there's hardly anyone driving on them also we saw online that because we live in brooklyn which is more south a lot of the like warm air mixed with the cold air so it made like kind of like hail and like icy rain so we didn't get as much snow here as some other places but for example central park in manhattan apparently had like 10 inches which is almost a foot so we're still gonna go out today we're just gonna wait for it to actually stop snowing which is supposed to happen around 12 and then we're gonna go check out my car and then maybe walk to the park why is it today he wants to get off of me <laughs> too bad too bad you're gonna be in our video it's your birthday you have to be the star he's a little birthday boy today rascal is now 12 we're gonna have a little baby birthday party for him later. But his birthday is actually made up. Shanna and I actually made up the date because I got him maybe like a month after this and he was about a month old. So we don't know when he was born, but he's a little rescue, so there's no way to know. Okay, so the snow has finally stopped falling. It's actually like a little bit sunny outside. So I think now is a good time to venture out into the wild snow. So we're dressed extremely, extremely warm because we're a little scared that it's gonna be really cold outside. Yeah, Shanna and I, neither of us like the cold like actually nope. whatsoever, unless we're like sitting in the house and it's cold outside. So going outside into the cold, uh, we're a little scared. We have like multiple layers on. And what else is it, Gabby? Oh, today is also the last day of Hanukkah, so that's fun. We're gonna try and go get a little Hanukkah treat, but we don't know if they'll be open because of the snow, so I guess we'll see on our walk. <laughs> yes. First stop though is checking on Hilly Bob. Hilly Bob, I hope you're okay. I hope you're not buried in snow all day. I hope we don't have to buy a shovel. <laughs> That's what I have to buy a shovel either. I will use my hands. So we took a little walk and we just got to our car. Here she is. She is pretty it's covered actually, in snow. It's not that bad though. I've seen it, I've seen it worse. No, but we don't have a shovel, so we're gonna have to somehow we're gonna use my little brush thingy. Little brush thing to get all this snow off. <laughs> Shanna yes. did literally most of the work, I think, because no. I started getting cold. <laughs> no, I think you did a lot. I mean, what's hard about when your car is stuck in the snow is that when they plow the streets, it pushes the snow to the side, which covers your tires. And then you have to, like, get up and above the snow. And if you don't have an SUV, like, I have, like, a little, I don't know what you call this car, like a sedan or something. Like, it doesn't, it's not meant to go above snow. So I have to, like, kick all the snow off under the tires and stuff. But... We did it. So now I'm gonna go get gas and then I'm gonna move my spot, my car to a different spot. And then we're gonna go to the park. Okay, so we finally got my car parked. We had a little bit of trouble because I was driving over some big thing of snow. But some guy in his car saw us and like was like, oh, do you need me to shovel you out? And I was like, no, I think I'm okay. But he came over anyway and he shoveled us out. He was so nice. So yeah, thank oh my you God. To whoever that was. Thank goodness for that kind guy. Then we went to a new bodega that opened up on our corner. And they're gonna have vegan stuff there. I've never been to a bodega <laughs> with vegan stuff before. And the girl who was working there was so nice. And she was telling us all the vegan stuff they're gonna have, so. Yeah, and she was saying she's day. vegan too. So it was really exciting because there's nothing like that by our house. Like all our bodegas, <laughs> they suck a lot. <laughs> so that's really exciting. Yeah, so I'm so excited. Yeah, and now we're gonna, now we started walking and we're gonna start walking towards like the park near our house. And we'll see what we get to on the way. to one of our favorite um, little coffee shops and patisseries near us called Colson. They have amazing coffee, so we got some to keep our hands warm. Ooh, so but excited. they also have a special Hanukkah treat that Gabby has never really had before. I think that I had it when 
I was a kid, but it's basically like a jelly donut. It's called a sifagagnote. I don't think I'm pronouncing that right, but Shanna can put the name on the screen like here. <laughs> but it's basically like a jelly donut and you have it around Hanukkah. Oh my God, it looks amazing. And since tonight is the last night of Hanukkah, I thought might as well get a Hanukkah treat. I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> take, take a little bite. Is it good? Uh-huh, it's amazing. <laughs> Walking through the snow. We are in the park and we are walking in the snow. Hey! We have actually never been to Prospect Park in the snow. No, it never snows for me and Shanna. All the snows we were in Curacao where they weren't bad snows, like we wouldn't have gone to the park because of it. But this is what it looks like now. It does look pretty. I think it's going to look it's so pretty, pretty when pretty. we're in the park. So we decided not to bring our sled today because it's an inflatable one and we have to blow it up. And, and we because, didn't do that yet. It was in her car. Yeah, we had too much trouble with my car, so. We didn't blow it up, but I think tomorrow it's going to be still kind of cold and a little bit sunny, which means that the snow shouldn't fully melt. So we might be able to go sledding tomorrow. So I think tomorrow we're going to try Ooh, and go sledding. Fingers crossed, you better blow it up. <laughs> but now we're on a little walk to something very cool for the last night of Hanukkah. Last year we only saw it from the car. <laughs> we drove by just to see it, but, but this year we walked to it, because why not? It's really big, actually. <laughs> if you want to come see Brooklyn's largest menorah, it's at Grand Army Plaza, which is like one of the sides of Prospect Park. It's, it's like the, the park very front. At. Yeah, it's like the very front. You'll see there's like this giant arch, and then it's right across from the arch. Should that be a hand or should this be a hand? The thing with the twiggy arms out. She's giving everyone a hug! Ivy, you're a queen. Okay. This is our art, so we should... Write 27 on it. <laughs> Beautiful. Beauty. <laughs> she's beauty and she's grace. She's Miss Snow Prospect Park. <laughs> we're the next Banksy because we're going to make this art and then disappear. Yeah, disappear <laughs> into vanish in thin air. <laughs> If anyone wants to find this, we will give you so much credit if you come into Prospect we'll Park and find Ivy. We'll tag you on every account we have <laughs> if you find Ivy. <laughs> Goodbye, my lover. Goodbye, my friend. Some people have made some snow angels, and these are so good. They're pretty impressive. I've like literally never seen them this good before. This like, one in front of me. there's a lot of them. This one's like a perfect perfection. angel. It's like a little baby. It's like a little baby It's like head. a fairy. Whoever it was was wearing a beanie because I see the pom-pom, but that's what makes them look more angelic. This is just truly amazing. Oh my god, I can't believe she did it. So now, tomorrow, if it's still snowy out, we can bring this to the park. Okay, so we are home from the park. It's later now. I blew up the big sled thingy for tomorrow. Also, I didn't tell the vlog about what happened with my car. I'm angry. So basically, <laughs> when I went back to my car to get the sled after we came home, um, I realized that someone had, like, must have used a, a snow blower and, like, even dug my car in further than it was a me and Gabby cleared out this morning after we spent an hour digging out my car. So I had to, like, I tried to get as much off as possible, but this time it was more like ice rather than snow, which is even worse because when the ice freezes overnight, it's impossible to, like, get it off your windshield and, like, underneath your car and stuff. So I did the best I could, but I was by myself, and I don't still don't have a shovel. So I guess tomorrow we're going to have to see um, if I'm still, like, really stuck in there because then we might need to buy a shovel. Yeah, meanwhile, I was getting nervous because I was making us lunch, and Shanna just, like, left to go a block away to get something out of the car <laughs> and then didn't come back for, like, 30 minutes. I was, like, about to, like, take everything out and, like, go for a walk because I was, like, what happened? She didn't bring her phone. I was, I was just was running to the car for, like, one second, but... But, of course, someone has uh, to be a jerk face I and know. do that to you. That totally sucks. I'm really annoyed, but, like, it is what it is. I mean, I can't do anything about it besides go get a shovel. Now it's dark, so at this point, it's 
it makes sense to try and shovel anything out. So yeah, I guess uh, we just have to hope it doesn't really freeze tomorrow and it should be okay. <laughs> but anyway, tonight is the last night of Hanukkah, like we said earlier, and Gabby is going to light the menorah for the final time in oh, 2020. Oh, so sad. Final menorah lighting. <laughs> And Rascal's birthday, don't forget. Of course. To anyone else that lights the menorah, how satisfying do you find it on the last night when you finish your box of candles for the year? Chef's kiss. One final time. You're gonna say it though. All right, I'll try. Can you do it? Baruch Atah, Adonai, Aloheinu, Melech, Kaolam, Asher Kiddishanu, B'mitzvotah, Vitzivanu, Lahad Ligner, Sher, Hanukkah. Wow, that was pretty good. You helped me. I that cheated. was really impressive. I didn't really say it though. I just mouthed some words. <laughs> I know all the words, but I forgot the order. It, I mean, you just learned it. It's not the easiest thing. I mean, I learned it five years ago, but. Yeah, but it's not English. You're not like saying something right. in English that you can like easily memorize. You're saying something that you don't know what it means. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. This is so hot when you get to the last day. Happy last night of Hanukkah, everyone. Happy Hanukkah! Do, do, do. Alright, Gabby got her last Hanukkah present. What did you get? It's so good. It's a Schitt's Creek coloring book. And we just finished watching Schitt's Creek and it was so good. And I love coloring books and I'm so excited! What's your favorite page? Oh, definitely this one. Fold in the cheese. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone else watches Schitt's Creek, let us know what you think about this. That's my favorite part. I think of that every time I'm folding something in when I'm cooking. I'm just like, fold in the cheese. <laughs> Hava, Nagila, Hava, Nagila, Hava. This song has nothing to do with Hanukkah, but, but it's the it. only Jewish song I know. <laughs> so we got Rascal some fresh salmon, and we got this little heart sparkler to put in it, but we know he's literally gonna hate it, but we don't care. <laughs> but it's really, we thought it was really bougie and cute. Happy birthday! Happy birthday, Rascal! Happy birthday, Rascal! We love you! Here, we'll just let it go like this. Cat ASMR. For anyone who's interested. <laughs> okay, so we just finished eating dinner and now we're going to start on our next puzzle. This one is a thousand pieces. The cat puzzle was only 750, so there's more pieces in this one. I feel like this one looks a lot harder just because there's a lot of words in like different places. No, but I think super hard. No, I think words makes it easier. You do? Yeah. I think it's so much harder. I think I'll make we'll it easier. What happens? <laughs> We just put on um, a Hallmark Christmas movie that actually features um, a queer couple or a gay guy couple. A gay guy. I think it's a gay guy couple. We haven't watched yeah, it yet. Yeah, we haven't so watched it yet, really but, but our friends um, Rox and Marcia from Once Upon a Journey watched it, and they said that they really liked the storyline a lot, so we're really excited. It's called A Christmas House, and it's on Hallmark. We just went on their website because we don't have Hallmark Channel, and yeah. we just, like, literally, you can watch it on their website, so yeah. that's what we did. <laughs> so we're watching it now. We plugged in my laptop to the TV, and then we're going to do the puzzle. Let's do it. And after, also, we're going to have some chocolate. <laughs> and then um, after the movie, we'll give you a little, little review. We'll let you know if we like it or not. <laughs> okay, so we had to pause the puzzle because we realized that this 1,000-piece um, puzzle is bigger than our other one and therefore will not fit on our... Random print. <laughs> random print that we turned into a puzzle board. Because of this issue, we actually just went on Amazon and ordered a puzzle board mat because this is not going to fly. We don't have a space and except for the floor in our apartment to do a puzzle this big. Yeah, and at least the puzzle mat was not that expensive and I was like, it's worth it if every year we're gonna do a puzzle then we'll just have that, that way we can actually do the puzzle and not have to like completely inconvenience our lives and have something on the floor for like two weeks if it takes us that long to finish it. So it says it's gonna come on Saturday so I guess we can just continue our puzzle then, right? Yep, so we're just gonna have to wait and hope that, cause we actually did the entire border. So we're just gonna have to wait, I guess, and hope that this doesn't get broken. Okay, so we just finished the Christmas house on Hallmark. Gabby, let's do a little quick review. I liked it. It was really, really cute. So, like, the secondary character, like, the brother character is, like, a gay guy, and he's in, like, a relationship. I think he's married in the movie, but I don't know. It was really cute. They did a really good job, like, portraying that relationship for, like, a Hallmark movie. Watching it, to me, it felt like it was just a normal Hallmark Christmas movie that just happened to have, like, a same-sex couple in it. Because, like, all we want 
as LGBTQ people is to watch a freaking Christmas movie and have there be no drama besides like where the decorations are gonna go, like who's gonna be Santa, like we just want it to yeah. be normal. But yeah, so I think we are going to close out the vlog here. Um, tomorrow we are gonna try and go sledding because the sled is already blown up. <laughs> we're gonna try and go sledding. And then I think we're gonna have a movie marathon, a Christmas slash holiday movie That's marathon. That's what I want. And we're gonna make hot cocoa. I want a festive marathon with hot cocoa, please. So, Hopefully you guys enjoyed Vlogmas Day 18, and um, we'll see you tomorrow, and we'll see you every day until Christmas. Bye. Bye.